How we all doing, folks? Welcome back to another Python tutorial, once again on Colorama, and we've got some nice inflection and enthusiasm on all of our vowels. I think I emphasized the V there rather than the O. O. Oh well. <laughs> oh, so funny. Anyway, we're going to be talking more about Python in today's video, and in the last video, you actually saw us got to write... You actually saw us get to write, anyway, some really kind of stupid code. In fact, I wouldn't even call that code. All we're doing is just printing out red text. But we're going to experiment with that with that a even more in this video. I'm going to get the program that we wrote just last video open up again. And if you guys removed it, that's fine, whatever. It's pretty simple. All we're doing is just printing out red text with um, the Colorama little attribute here, or a little variable, or our string, anyway, that actually represents the ANSI code or signal that will change the value of the text here inside of our terminal. We're printing out 4.red and then whatever we're going to print here. So, in this video, we're going to kind of, anyway, expand our knowledge with uh, the 4 selector, because we can do multiple or at least different colors with this. Now, if I actually get Firefox open, you'll probably actually be able to see um, all the colors that we have access to in the list or that little Python package index that you saw when we were up back over uh, at the be very beginning of the series. You can see all of the colors that we, we'd, we would have been working with. And they're right here. You can see uh, black, red, green, yellow, blue, magenta, cyan, or however you pronounce that, white and red. I'm sorry, reset. Wow, I can't even read. So uh, those are all the things that we have access to use. So let's change this. We can just say this is colored text, and if I get a terminal open, if I run Python thing, this is colored text. Now, Python green, now it's green, that sort of thing. This is very, very simple, you guys. It's a pretty simple syntax, because all it takes is really just changing one portion of your syntax anyway, like all this does is a dot selector that contains um, probably something, at least anyway, an attribute from within inside um, the Colorama module. So I'm just going to quickly run through all of the things that we can go through here. Magenta, Cyan, sound looks pretty good. White, now white is what I've already started with so it doesn't look like any different. And then reset. Reset will actually change the foreground back to the initial color of the, the command line or the environment that you were working in to what it was when you first started. It re resets the variable. That's the value. That's pretty easy enough. It was white before because we used white up there. And, uh, and we changed it back to white again by changing it to reset because that's what the color is of my font when I'm not actually... Um, inside of the, the command, or the program anyway. Like you can see when I type in python thing.python, that's white, because that's just the color of my terminal's font. That's the way it is. So that's very, very easy. It's incredibly simple. I don't see how you could get even more complex with Colorama. All you're doing is changing the color of some text, and it's very easy. Now we can actually, of course, manipulate more things to this. Like we can say 4.blue plus, at the very end of our thing, 4.red, and more. I'll put a space in here, and all that jazz. Now, Python thing.txt, we've got this is colored text in blue and more in red, because we've changed it to red right before we called, or at least we put in, and more, because we're concatenating all this stuff inside of the print function. Now, if I get to a different print function, though, and I wanted to say, this is white text, because, you know, that's what uh, that's what my program started with. At least that's what the color of my font is before I'm calling the program. If we run that, this is white text isn't in white. Do you guys know where that is? It's because we haven't changed red to anything else. 4.red, that's still there. Even after we finish printing out and more, 4.red is still the current value that we have for our color to be set on. So when we call this is white text, nothing's changed. We can't do anything with that. We could, of course, though, put like 4.reset right here. And uh, that'll fix it. Or we could, of course, put it over in the completely other print uh, function there. We can add on 4.reset over here. And that will change it just the way we want it to. We have some options with the way we can do this. It's completely up to you. And, of course, this is, this is maybe irritating. 
maybe changing the color of what you're doing with every single line that you work with is not what you want to do. And we're going to get on to a little bit of a quick solution to that in a later video. But for now, all I want to actually want to be showing you is that you can change the color at any moment. Like any time you're in the middle of a line, your, your raw input actually. If we left it as red and we called raw input, then we're actually going to get some text from the user. Let's run this. Let's check this out, man. Python, thing.txt, this is colored text, and more. We are still red. So we could actually set up a prompt for them that's in one color and change their input to be another color. It's it's pretty cool. You've got some options here. You can be really dynamic and make some nice, colorful programs. So, good stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm all done here. I think I've blathered on about a very simple concept for long enough. I hope you guys, it does kind of make sense to you. All you're doing is just putting this before anything that you're actually typing out. And for those of you that know Python, you can probably very easily tell that all it does is a, all it is is a string. This variable represents a string that um, changes the color of the text inside your terminal. And uh, it's, it's easy. <laughs> That's all there is to it. It's just string cat concatenation. Alright, thank you very much though guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It'd be cool if you could like, comment, maybe subscribe, do whatever you guys do. But uh, I hope to see you in the next tutorial. See you later!